flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're now listening to the mind of an Antares Moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to tell you like this. You need God and the devil. I'm going to light up on that one. I'm going to let you build on that. Because due to language and due to frequencies and energy vibrations that's put into certain words and residuals and language, there's only, certain, there's only a few or a couple or millions of certain ways you can think about it. But we all know my channel. So I'm going to let you just build on that real quick. Because y'all know when I'm about to start talking about it, y'all know it ain't going to have, it's going to be a thought, abstract thought that's never been preceded before. So I'm going to let you go ahead and filter through all the programs that's being unlocked right now by saying you need God and the devil. Check this out. Now you know, before I even break down, we're going to talk about facts first. Now facts ain't got nothing to do with what I'm talking about. But for the sake of the conversation right now, we got to deal with facts. Look at the title. We know you take a motherfucker O out of good, you get God. We know you add a motherfucking D on evil, you going to get the devil. But my me, knowing that everything is energy, frequency, and vibrations, I'm going to let you know where society falls short. See, society got this own got this perception of God. And it's a low ass expectation. It's a petty ass expectation. It's an expectation that got human traits. Now let me tell you where that came from though. I don't give a fuck about what books or what anything you read that's gonna tell you about where God come from or the energy of God come from. I'ma tell you where they fucked up at. I don't even give a fuck about Babylonians, shamans, Egyptians. I'm the Archangel Uriel. I know the true perception. It's not what you see, it's how you see it. It's not what you do, it's how you do it. And I'm going to give you motherfuckers an example right now, but I'm going to still let you motherfuckers built on you need God and the devil. But I'm going to break it down, twist your head so much to the point that you start feeling like you got the wrong perception on what the fuck the shit is in the first place. Now, where society falls short, now this whole motherfucking time we know you talk good good and evil now we said that look at the motherfucking title so we got god the devil so now we got we we attach god to all things good we attach the devil to all things evil i even want you to make a list write down everything you think is evil in your life and write down everything you think is positive and compare it to somebody else's list. I bet it ain't the same goddamn shit. Now check me out. Now we're gonna get on a moral level. We know for a fact we need good and evil. We know for a fact. Here's why. It's an opposition, right? It's an opposition. So, if a nigga want to just tell you you need God and the devil, you can't argue with that. But if you're going to argue with that, it's because you're within programs. But I'm about to break all this shit down right now to the point that you understand not to even tie my God into good and evil. Check this out. As a society, in every generation, we, we predicated on the, the, the Almighty, the Most High. But we only penetrate them into one energy. Now I'm going to tell you how we know for a fact. Now fact, we know at the end of this, we're going to know at the end of this video, this ain't got nothing to do with nothing. But for a fact, we know that goodness is an energy and badness is an energy. And if we're going to say something was here that created everything, but we, but we only tied into one of the energies, then already that's a contradiction. But let's get the fuck up out of that real quick. All scriptures, everything proceeds. God is, well, in a nutshell, as a society, they've been trying to make God, yang, and, a, and devil or evil, yin. But we know for a fact that yin and yang is positive and negative. We know for a fact that these are two energy charges that has to come together to create another charge. So what does that tell you? 
what does that tell you? Now I'm gonna give a I'm gonna give a few examples of how we they try to turn God into the Yang aspect and the devil into the yin aspect. Now every time they make a script something talk about God and, and or whatever, what's the example? Light. Warmth. Goodness. Prosperity. Right? Now everything negative negative to that is supposed to be bad. Dark. Negative. And, and, and unprosperity. Right? So every time something good happens to you, you praise God. Every time something bad happens to you, you blame the devil. Now I'm about to break down why we need both of these energies and why you shouldn't even be looking at that. And this is a failure to society due to religion, politics, science, education, and entertainment. Now, we look at it like this. Well, I don't. But as a society. Check this out. Here's, the, here's why we need both of them. Now, even in the motherfucking Bible, in the Bible, we know it's good to listen. We know it's good to be up under, up under the presence and to obey so we can all live pleasant and eat good fruit. So we know, we, we know that was a good thing. But we know after a while, it's going to become a bad thing because you're not going to know nothing. You're going to be dumb. You're not going to know how to fish for yourself. You're just going to know how to eat for the day. You're not going to know how to fish for yourself. Now we got the serpent in the tree telling you to eat the fruit. Now, we say that's bad because now we, now we going through harsh situations in life now. But we know we understand something now. We understand hard work. We understand how to fish for tomorrow now. We understand what it took to create now. Not only that we were just brought here, now we understand how to bring life here. So women had to start going through human birth now at this time in the Bible. So we, so, so we know when you know something, flip it now into reality. When you know something on earth, what do they say the most powerful thing in the world is, right? Knowledge. Wisdom. So when you know something in reality, that's a good thing, right? So why in the hell in the Bible is presented as a bad thing? Why when you ate the fruit and gain knowledge is a bad thing in the Bible? But in reality, it's the most precious thing on earth. So we know it's, we know it's a good and bad and bad for a fact. And we know it's a good and bad and good for a fact. Just talking about religion if we just talking about the Bible. Now let's talk, let's talk about it in another way. You running around here want to be a motherfucking saint. You want to be a fucking nun. You want to help everybody out in the motherfucking world. But when it's time for you to get help, who the fuck that? So you think you're doing good in your heart. But in the long run, you you in a fucked up bad situation. Now, you running around here robbing every goddamn body. You still in goddamn shit. And this, that, and third. And and you might get away with it. It might be a monetary game. You might get you might get that new camera tomorrow. You might get what you, you might you might get them new rims tomorrow. So that was the good thing out of it, though. So we know you did something bad to get to, to make sure your child had a good Christmas. Now, that might be a fucked up analogy, but I'm just trying to let you know where you might need a little bit of good and bad. When somebody taking advantage of you in a relationship and you don't stand up to them and hurt their motherfucking feelings and let them know what they're doing wrong, then what good is that doing you? With somebody else's good, ain't your good. With someone else's bad, ain't your bad. You might get cheated on, and you might go and look and see the person you got cheated on. You see them getting cheated on. And you can't understand why you feel good about it. See, it was good for you, but it was bad for them. See what I'm saying? So all it's an opposition. It's all energy. So to tie God to one of those, to just one of those, you're fucking yourself up. You know what I'm saying? But we're going to go a little deeper. We're going to dive a little deeper into it. We're going to tell you like this. Because look, at this point, this is the only way and the only perception how humans can even see an example of God. So now, 
You got all kind of religions now. You got all kind of statues now. And, and, and you feel like as a religious person, if a person ain't being good and kindness out of their heart, they ain't being in the nature of God. Because you're saying they ain't being in the nature of good. They ain't being in the nature of positive. But let me tell you like this. We're going to take my God right up out of that situation right now. My God ain't like you. He don't have human tra traits. He don't see perception of his own. You will never see him outside of yourself. You will never see it outside of yourself. So I say that to say this. The, one of the reasons society got a wrong perception of God because they tying God to yang and all things of yang nature. And they're saying yin is the complete opposite. So if you're not being total yang, but see yang is tricky. These are two energies of themselves. This is like male and female of themselves. We know that yang is tricky. We know, we know light could bring illusions. Too much light can make you blind to the point you can't see. A blind person can see something better than you, can understand something better than you. Because you can't see something. Because you're seeing so much other stuff that other lights that people with their lights presenting to you in front of your light. You get blind. Too much light to make you blind. Too much light to make you blind. So, so as a broadened perspective of looking at it, is y'all trying to say my God blind? Because if you're going to tie him to all things of that, too much light can make you blind. And we see that manifest in existence every day. A naive person is blind. A person who always getting took advantage of is blind. A person who will put their foot down is blind to the situation. To the point they get put through a lot of shit to the point that the situation is going to manifest to the point that it's going to make you see where you've been blind at. And that's God. Not, not the light. That part. Which I want to say, the light is fat, but the fat got nothing to do with truth. And if everything going to be energies, what's the energy of truth? Think of all the truthful shit in your life. All the true shit that happened. I don't care how many facts somebody presented to you. How much paperwork somebody presented to you. How many books somebody told you to read. How many classes you took. How many colleges you went to. How many guru, gurus you got. How many preachers you listened to. How many churches you went to. I don't give a fuck. What I'm talking about is all the true shit that happened in your life. Shit that was the undoubtedly truth. Shit that you can understand out here that is just truth. One plus two, one plus one always going to be two. That's truth. Anything that's, that's an energy. So put that into anything that was truth in your life. That's God. That shit ain't got nothing to do with no opposition or no friction or no opposing somebody's energy. It's about truth. When you tell somebody the truth about something in real life, I don't give a fuck if it come across negative or positive. If it's the truth and they needed to hear it, that was something they needed to hear. That's God. That's the energy. Don't tie energy. Don't tie God to a yin-yang energy. That's the, that's, that's the first issue with the fuck is wrong with this society. Because they don't understand how to, under, how to conceptualize energies and how to conceptualize what the fuck is really going on now i'm gonna tell you something in yin and yang good and bad god and the devil in your world yeah those are some powerful energies male and female positive negative those that's those are some two powerful motherfuckers but them ain't the only motherfuckers out here those beings those energies they can be just as well as yin can be manipulative just as well as the light can create illusions for motherfuckers you could be too you could be too much in the dark of a situation to somebody try to tell you something and your dumb ass don't want to motherfucking listen. That means you in the dark of a situation. A blind man could be enlightened about a situation. It don't take the motherfucking sunlight. Like they try to say the sun is God too. That's wrong too. Every motherfucking thing is wrong. No Archangel Uriel. Now I'ma tell you like this. I'm going to tell you motherfuckers like this. We ain't tying God to no energies no more. God, if we're going to tie him to an energy, the only energy you should be tying him to is truth. So if you don't even want to call him God anymore, call, him, call it truth. You ain't even got to say him or her no more. You can say truth. Ah, uh, ah, uh, truth, motherfucker. The truth. The truth. You can't get around the truth. You can't shake the truth. You can't escape the truth. It is what it is. See, you could, you could tie the word it and is with truth because when you say it is what it is, that's, that means that was something motherfucking truth you just motherfucking said. 
Now, when you talk, when you start to talk about positive, negative, yin and yang, good and bad, you got you got to start to say him and her. You got no choice. You know why? Because that's the actual energy of positive and negative, yin yang, male female. So when you tie God to one of them, you have no choice. And what's the and what's the one everybody tie God to? Right, him. Right, him. Right. And why is that? Because they're trying to tie God to the to the yang the yang energy. And what is yang in astrology? Male. What is yang in science? Positive. What is yang met metaphysically? Light. Why you think people, the, the black community and the Muslim, Muslims and stuff and he Hebrew Israelites having such a hard time with trying to explain why they think God is the female? Why you think they having such a hard time? But they, they truth, everything is truth. They all point towards truth, but they have to argue with each other because they still in perception of opposition, yin and yang. Don't tell me I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I know the true tree of life, tree vine shit. So I see shit the way it's supposed to be seen. Now look, check this out. Now I ain't gonna leave all y'all out there in the cold. I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm gonna tell you like this. This is why they having such a hard time with tying it. Because people is having such a hard time with, ex with understanding yin in this society. People having such a hard time with understanding the right brain in society. So hell yeah, people gonna have such a hard time with understanding how God is the female. But let me tell you like this. When you take my God out of that and tie it to it is what it is, it's truth, it's male and female. So y'all motherfuckers ain't gotta be on New York and Harlem street corners arguing with these motherfucking other no more. Because I told you what it is. You motherfuckers still out here calling a white man a devil. Why you think Jesus is a white? Is white. Because they trying to tie God to the Yang universe. White is light. It's light. Why you always think it got the sun behind the behind it in the picture? Something that got something to do with light. Anytime it's something in the dark or whatever like that, they try to put paint some fucking animal pictures to make it look like a demon. You know what a demon really is? You thinking it's something in a motherfucking Bible. A demon is something that a motherfucking picture Picasso way back 80 some thousand years ago then drew a motherfucking with a bird face lion eyes a, a, a pterodactyl nose with motherfucking uh, skeleton arms and you motherfucking running around thinking that's something that's a motherfucking spirit that's a motherfucking unconjunted creative drawing a motherfucking human had made you ain't got no fucking reason being scared of that shit motherfucker <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what this shit is flight boss in this motherfucking you gonna get we gonna get the part two in this motherfucker good and evil Flight boss, bitch, you know. For sure. Don't tie my God to your motherfucking human traits. Hey!